Pride Central Texas sports fans, welcome back to another American Statesman webcast. It is the area round of the playoffs, but before we talk about those matchups, Rick, why don't we talk about the bye district round a little bit. What stood out in your mind the most about last week's games? Well, the biggest standout to me was Bowie winning a playoff game for the first time since 1992, and they came back with 17 points in the fourth quarter. Uh, big win over San Antonio Roosevelt, and they had a backup running back, Sheldon uh, Gatley, uh, rushed for Catley, Gatley, Catley, Catley. He rushed for 270 yards, and that's an incredible feat if you think about it. A guy that's not used to being in the limelight to go for almost 300 yards. That was it was amazing. Let me go to starting point. A lot of people, there were a lot of questions about starting point, and, you know, rightfully so after they lost to Cedar Park. I know we were talking on our high school. Um, web chat last week and a lot of people thought they might lose in the second or third round but they came out with a statement win last week in Cypress Fall 56-7 to um, Cypress Falls in three of their previous four games that scored at least 46 points and they were held to a touchdown in the fourth quarter so starting point if they play like that you know for the rest of the playoffs they're going to be a very tough team to beat so big statement win for the Tigers what was the biggest disappointment in the first round? For me the biggest disappointment was more personal it was uh, Bastrop losing uh, they had been on such a nice roller coaster ride, but mainly going up the whole season. And they just didn't play their best football, I don't think, at the very end. Uh, they finally stumbled against New Braunfels. And, but at the same time, it was an excellent season for, for Bastrop. They have a lot to be proud of. Um, make my short and sweet, Giddings. Last week I picked them to win a state championship. Can't do that when you lose in the first round. Not by that many points. Yeah. All right. Um, we, of course, have a lot of games this week coming up. What game are you looking forward to the most? Well, the one I want to see is the uh, the old-time rivalry between Converse, Judson, and Westlake, two teams that are accustomed to being in the state championship. They play at Judson. Uh, both are coming off big emotional wins this past weekend. Westlake with eight seconds left. Bryce Hager had the, the game-winning touchdown. And uh, I think there could be a, a tremendous football game with, uh, who knows, I think Westlake may be uh, my three. All right, my game, I'm going to be Steel. Versus Lake Travis, um, Steele gave Lake Travis a lot of problems last year. I mean, even though Lake Travis on the scoreboard won pretty big, Steele gave them a game. Um, Lake Travis really hasn't been tested at all this season. You can argue that maybe Westwood gave them an early test, and you know, Colleen played with them for about a quarter or so when those two teams played. But Lake Travis, from you know, after the first quarter on, they are just blown by teams. So maybe Steele, um, they have a pretty good running back in Malcolm Brown. Maybe Steele can give them a game, but Lake Travis is probably going to win another game big, but. Who knows, maybe Steel will startle some people. Could be the Steel Curtain. Oh, there you go with that Steel Curtain again. Oh, wow. All right, that's our um, preview for the area around the playoffs. Check back with us next week as we'll have more games to talk about.